Hello everybody, my name is Ace Space. Today I'm going to be trying out another one of these T6 exotic gila fits, actually. T6 Abyss is something that I still don't feel like I've mastered completely and I want to master it completely by testing all or almost all the options that exist. So what is, when it comes to the gila, I think that it is a very good candidate for the T6 exotic because of just the reduced kinetic resistance and, you know, the good bonuses to this missiles are for kinetic and thermal missiles so i think it is very good for the you know exotic abyss and i'm actually trying a different slightly different setup than i did before so before i was using then a a setup which had like the you know the booster two multi spectrums then a shield boost amplifier this time i'm not using a shield boost amplifier i'm using a cap battery or dual cap batteries now because i've got an extra cap battery now this uh, Thurifier type of cap battery is one that has very actually good fitting requirements so i'm actually putting out able to put like two large cap batteries so i've got pretty good um, like capacitor recharge rate this is actually a bit less capacitor recharge rate than a, a previous uh, T6 Gila fit I've tried. However, the main thing is that if you've got two capacitor batteries, you're going to have very good newt resistance. And that is one of the main things, actually, or uh, I was like not really liking with uh, having, you know, the T6 Gila fit is because I, I, would often, I would have to use an afterburner. And because I'd have to use an afterburner, this means that often the newters will get right on top of me. And because of them getting right on top of me, that'll make it so that I will like take full new pressure and that's something i would not want to happen so this is what i've then got it's got these uh, Kaldara navy rapid light missile launchers here i got actually the uh, idea of using these from a guy called hateless gaming he used these rapid light missile uh, launchers here they've got very good fitting requirements i've actually got these uh, triple drone damage amplifiers here the pure navy ones we'll have some decent dps so we put the scourge light missiles in 830 I'm using the Tech 2 ones here, the Vespers, pretty good for the weather effect. Augmenteds could be an alternative. I see many people using Augmenteds, but uh, they do more DPS. But the thing is, if you have a particular damage type, you'll I think you'll actually do more damage because I did. A, I, I remember a while ago, I did a bit of a calculation. Now, maybe I'm wrong, but my conclusion was that the Tech 2s actually did slightly more damage or about the same as the Augmented ones just because how the particular resistance type is being uh, reduced uh, of the what the drones do actually because the augmented ones they do mixed dps mixed dps will then make it so that you know you're not doing the optimal damage type which in the exotic ones will be kinetic and that's what these tech 2 ones do they do only um, the, uh, the kinetic damage type and also it's they are a lot cheaper like 10 times less in terms of their price so it's a lot less like stressful to lose them so that's also something that i was considering so, uh, when it comes to the T6 Abyss, I was thinking then that it's it, I'd love to be able to do a full clear. Because a full clear will obviously make sure that I earn so much ISK. I did a few tests actually, and the full clear actually gave me so much ISK. But it's very difficult to do that because of just the nature of the, uh, the T6 Abyss. It is like really time is a big issue i keep stressing this that the t6 abyss there's a lot of stuff to kill and that is a it's a big problem in the t6 abyss because it's just like you, you can't really get everything all the time because of just how long it takes so what i'm going to try to do here is oh, basically on the waves since i've done quite a few um abyssal filaments <laughs> i've done like over a thousand abyssal filaments i'm going to try to do it like this so when I see a spawn that I know likes to like get under my guns uh, or like get over very close so that then I'll go for a extraction node but if it's something that likes to be far away then I'll go for um well then I'll go with you know the just directly to it so that I'm always doing my using doing the damage of my missiles because these missiles have not an extremely long range 33 kilometers and if I'm not doing that damage that means wasted time and wasted time means slower time and slower time is more potential for time to run out and if time runs out you die <laughs> so let's do this go and do this I've got the high grade crystals it's a very expensive fit I know but you're doing the t6 abyss so dank is what you will get from this Okay, so let's just see here, because I have to. I'm not really used to. I'm so used to doing the chaotic electrics where I just, just without any thought whatsoever, just go towards the extraction nodes. But here, I think I'll have to think a little bit. So we've got a bunch of these Vela guys, and I think that, you know, they're over there. I can just go to these extraction nodes over here. 
let's just go to them here and we'll start because these these are uh, these like uh damavix are gonna get under us straight away anyway so i don't think it'll be too bad actually like uh, we'll still be doing dps all the time so let's go attack these tanglings because tanglings obviously it's uh they're gonna make us go slower slower is uh, something i don't want to happen here afterburner so i don't have to care about the anchorings only the tangling this is what i have to worry about okay let's take out this guy he's dead no he's not okay there we go don't lock up this place <laughs> okay there we go we're gonna lock up these we're getting sensor dampened pretty damn hard actually i can't even lock up anything that's also something that is quite annoying when it comes to these like f filaments or getting these nodes is that you have to lock them up to be able to destroy them but then if you're sensor dampened you can't shoot them let's go for these blinding ones afterwards i don't want to lock up these drones please don't do this okay there we go now we're gonna go for these, these stupid blinding ones why is our range of our missiles because i'm pretty sure we get no we're not getting eward okay that's good so like this is like a case of like a spawn that will just go and get really close to me and i know i'm now applying full dps i'm not wasting my time you know um with something else i am doing all my outputting all my dps so it doesn't really matter that i'm now deviating from the path to go to the uh, buy adaptive because i will still be spending quite a bit of time you know destroying them but say i think like charybdis tyrannos i don't know if it'll be a good idea to do this because charybdis tyrannos likes to kite a lot and it'll take quite a long time to actually you know get in range of charybdis tyrannos but then again you know charybdis tyrannos tyrannosaurus rex they like to actually uh, have their cruisers going first the cruisers are something that needs to be taken out so maybe if there's an extraction node pretty close i could just go for that because it'll still take a bit of time to take out the cruisers just so i'm not wasting time which i could have been using to output some potential dps that's just what i want to make sure i want to make sure that i'm not wasting time not outputting dps Let's go for this guy. And you see here, we've almost actually uh, completed now the whole room because there's all, not, hardly anything left. So I'll basically, after this node here, I'll have to go and uh, go to the buyer and have to, not gonna have to, not gonna have any time to spare actually. Let's just go and take out this now. Vedmac, we're tanking like an absolute boss. And it's really, I love the fact that we've got dual cam batteries because it feels a lot more relaxing with the new pressure. There's obviously not a newt here, but it'll just make a newt, newt is so much easier back in the day i would actually when i did my first like uh, t uh, like t4 t5 abyssal runs in, back in the april 2019 actually that was uh, a very wonderful time for me because it really opened my eyes because i'd never done the high tier filaments before i'd only done t3 and i actually started off with a dual cam battery because i was really afraid of newts and it was really good but the only problem is that since i was sacrificing a mid slot i had a lot worse you know shield recharge rate but since we are able to blink so hard here because we're doing the t6 abyss then it's not really it's not really that bad <laughs> it's uh, it's kind of it kind of needed when you've got so many npcs that could potentially new you okay there we go mm -hmm. i wish i just wish i could somehow with an afterburner go 1k a second 700 just doesn't feel fast it feels very slow but you can see here we're going to waste a little bit of time traveling to the uh, extraction uh, the transfer conduit because this guy is probably going to die before we actually get in range of the uh, buy adaptive actually i just want to simulate this because usually i don't actually uh, get the loot in the test server because it's not, not worth anything but i think this is a good thing to kind of practice get used to because in the like t6 abyss i tell you a lot about time so i need to like get used to being able to you know grab the loot nodes or the caches if i'm actually going to do this on tranquility let's go here and we're not really i don't think we're going to spend a whole lot of time actually you know going to this uh this uh transfer condo is quite close actually so i think it's all right but i don't want to spend too much time i have to be i don't want to be greedy i'm not supposed to be greedy here because greedy greed can take over and make me die i have to think a lot think a lot in the t6 abyss it's always something i have to think about it's, it's not like just as simple as in my t5 run just going to every single node not caring about time time does matter here so you know we're almost at five minutes and i mean it's good that we are now just just precisely under five minutes but i would prefer to be a little bit faster than that but i mean what can you do what can you do is to t6 abyss you've got so much meat to get through that's just how it's going to be okay so now we have to like look at the where everything's placed so we could probably get these two actually right here 
these guys are gonna get the same spawn actually they're, they're gonna now you know get to us let's get, take out these tanglings and we can actually have our drones just quickly take out these uh these uh caches actually we'll start shooting this guy here have we got any sensor damps e war okay we've got one ghosting let's take this guy out we don't need to bother with the anchor because they're the most useless ones right now okay there we go now we've got taken out all of these and have they got dropped anything yep they've dropped stuff we'll go and do the get these caches right here tanglers take them out we'll take out these guys and these guys got a really good tank really good tank i think 700 ehp per second so that is absolutely not an issue whatsoever just just go here and get the loot collect the collect the taxes from the abyss we're taxing the triglavians <laughs> okay there we go kill this guy mm -hmm, that was very fast so so nice having the vespers the shield based drones don't have to worry about them taking armor damage as much because the shields just last forever and they just recharge as soon as they've been replaced like you recall them the shields are all recharged it's all good okay take out this guy we're going really fast through these guys actually really fast mm -hmm. take out this ghosting and also i think i was thinking that the sleeper cruiser wave the ones with those watchmen the lucid watchmen they also tend to keep they don't like i don't really notice them just going to you like orbiting at 500 so i don't think they either will be one of those waves which we'd want to um go for the nodes because we'll have to you know we have to be close to be able to use our missiles that's also actually something maybe that i could do i could maybe change to kaldari navy light missiles because those missiles will have quite a bit longer range and that would actually maybe be worth it even because i'll be able to you know uh, do the do the damage further ways so that could also be a potential change actually i'm gonna actually just see check this real quick just grab this there we go grab this and we'll go to the bio adaptive we actually got the whole room actually there's no nothing left okay, let's just check here what is the dps we got 837 then if we go here on kaldari navy scourge we have 30 less dps but we've got 44 kilometer range that's pretty good and we'll also have slightly better application to the you know the small stuff but really i don't think with the light missiles application there's anything to worry about it's it's all going to be pretty good actually application wise Hmm. yeah the 33 km, the 10 you almost get 11 kilometer extra range that is some pretty good range actually right there but uh, i don't uh, i don't know if i would actually go with that like the, you get a little bit less dps and you know, dps is very essential right here and as long as we're applying all the time we shouldn't have any issues like we've been shooting our missiles all the time without any issues really so i think i'll probably still stick with the furies but i think definitely it'll be an interesting thing to just test out maybe once i'll see about that let's go to this node here this is similar to the last wave actually where we you know almost just finished the last vedmac just when we were about to get the biocombinative cache what is the okay we're also in a bad type of weather effect in it as well the minus 50 percent so this is a good worst case scenario actually because then we get you know uh, their the enemy ships they've got less D dps because of that then they'll also have uh, a harder time will take a longer time to get through them actually i thought that was that was the last bed map but there's actually more oh yeah that's good i actually well not really good because i decided to reload those guys right there take out this guy good 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 please there we go take out this guy as well grab this and go to the transfer conduit come on i'm stable actually stable would be worth quite a bit actually i think this is worth quite a bit okay time is you know all right just to just the five minute mark i would prefer to be under four minutes i think that would be like very comfortable but i can't expect a whole lot from the t6 abyss you know that's why i do it in my t5 runs obviously it's going to take longer than my t5 runs okay there we go he is dead I recall these drones and let's go to the next site i'm also thinking maybe actually i put a drone damage amplifier uh, or drone link augmenter but uh, i could actually use maybe my tractor beam it would help a bit when i'm going to these you know these nodes let's see now we've got caribdis tyrannosaurus rex so we're gonna go probably to this one over here this one over here and then we'll kind of like you know make a little bit of an arc and then we'll be able to go towards caribdis because i don't want to go to these ones over there it'll take way too much time i think let's just go for these ones take out the tangling straight away obviously because those guys really are going to make us go extremely slow 
I think maybe a tractor beam actually would be quite good because I actually in my previous tests I never actually used a tractor beam but now that I'm actually like intentionally going to these guys I think maybe it would actually be useful to uh, go to use the tractor beam because before in the previous tests I've done I've just been focusing on completing the site as fast as possible never really thought about the nodes but maybe it would actually be worth going with the tractor beam to actually grab these ones right here shoot this guy I don't have enough fitting space unfortunately to be able to use the heavy missile launcher which is actually very useful to be able to just pop these caches that's just the way it's going to be hmm, we went through these crews actually really quickly a lot quicker than I thought take out this guy he's almost dead take out this guy here Kerbis Tyrannus is going to soon be kiting very hard actually because Kerbis Tyrannus always loves to kite very annoying Let's just save one ammunition for the extraction node split this drone there we go one missile there and then we will just highlight the buy adaptive as well one missile there oh maybe i'm out of range actually 34 kilometers Ugh, whatever grab this extraction node right here should be good should be good time is no oh, i'd love to be finished by now but that's what i do in t5 it was going to be a little bit longer okay, have this guy go for this Fialtis, the really scrubby sleeper cruiser, the absolute default of the default kind of sleeper cruisers. They used to be known as, uh, or they used to be, those like Sicardian Seekers, this model here. Now they're called the Autothesian Lancers, actually. The ones you find in the tutorial now are called, actually, uh, Sicardian Seekers. Okay, let's go for the bio adaptive. Have these drones split up a little bit and go for those Fialtises. Okay, now we're in range of Charybdis, actually. That's good. Charybdis is in range of my missile, so that is a good thing to have. Look, my drone's already gone. I can just finish off with the light missiles. Just to save a tiny bit of time. You can see there's a Tachyon Cloud right here, actually. He'll, Charybdis will probably go really fast. There you go, in a Tachyon Cloud. <laughs> It'll be fun seeing a battleship go over 1k a second. Charybdis Tyrannus is really used to just being very like, pretty slow. Well, it actually is, actually... Sometimes it does feel quite fast the way Charybdis Tyrannus is able to just like keep distance. Like when I go in propless uh, ships in the Abyss, I have done it a few times. And I noticed that Charybdis Tyrannus actually is is quite speedy with that 300 meters a second. <laughs> just like, oh, I'm trying to get him, but he's going like as fast as a slug, but I can still not get him. Okay, there we go. Let's go to the bio adaptive. Grab this. Now we're going out of range of our light missiles, but it's alright, it should be alright, because we've only got a few left in the clip, so it shouldn't be bad. Shouldn't be that bad. Okay, we'll go to, towards Caribdis now. I would say that time under 15 minutes is something I'd want to get in the T6 Abyss. That is why I'd see it say to be a good time. 12 minutes is a bit too ambitious why doing the T5s, but under 15 would be alright. Hmm, seems like well, that's exactly what we're doing right there. We can go towards the origin conduit. Recall our drones. There we go. T6 site done in just under 15 minutes. I would say that's pretty good. I want to continue doing this. I want to get more used to collecting these loot loot caches. We'll actually just see how much we get in terms of loot, actually. Let's see how much we get in loot. Because that'll be interesting to see because we'll get a lot more because we've been collecting these, uh, you know, these extra extraction nodes. And I've got all these implants right here just because I, uh, like I bought the fit and it had all the implants in the fit, actually. We'll just do this and we'll go on Eve Praisal, see how much we get. Okay, so we've got 100 million, 111 million. So that's pretty good, actually. Pretty dank isk right there, just from one set in 15 minutes. So that's it. T6 done. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video right here. Uh, I really need to get the time down and be able to get the loot collecting in a more like systematic way to be able to get it done quicker. Uh, that seems to be my main like challenge right now. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.